I can double check. Anyway, Holmes going up against Shockers. Uh, right. Yeah, reset the scores. And Boom. Got it. All right, we got there. Figured it out, finally. All right, insane shield pressure with the jab in the corner. <laughs> Holmes gets the down throw, but he's off stage, so no follow-up. And uh, I'm not too sure about this particular matchup. I would imagine, like, obviously Wolf's just a top-tier character, so his matchup spread is pretty good around the board. Yeah. Um, but Inkling, a pretty evasive character, pretty annoying to play neutral against, so. For sure. Yeah, I think what it's going to come down to is whether Devin can get his kills at a decent percent or not. Yeah, I feel like that's kind of Devin's big thing, just in general. Even when he's not playing Inkling, is just, like, trying to find kills. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and Inkling already struggles with that. I mean... Got up smash sometimes, bowler sometimes. Yeah. But. Yeah, the main thing is like finding up throw up air can be huge. It's just like we almost are right there. Yeah. Wolf is a fast faller, so I don't know how big, like, not a super fast faller, but okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah, hey, Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> oh it's God. so bad, but he goes for it anyway. And it does work sometimes, but. Yeah. I mean, he didn't get punished right there. True. Somehow. That does not make it a good option. <laughs> Uh, ooh, okay, didn't didn't get the jump with that side. Yeah, and even if you do take Inkling's jump, Inkling can still make it back pretty much from anywhere. Ooh, nice. Nice Good spacing on that back here. Yep. I was uh, wondering if we're going to see any Gimmer tech coming out. <laughs> I, I, uh, I certainly hope so. Uh, yeah, that I've seen, uh, or at least in Squad Strike, a few people were running back and forth going for it. Trying to do it, yeah. yeah. Nice, nice down smash from Shockers, catching the uh, drop off jump from ledge. Oh, big damage. Yeah. He's trying to get the two frame with the down smash, but it's pretty strict timing, especially against a character like Inkling. So. Doing really well at the ledge. Oh, nice. And there it is. I hate Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay, that one, I, I kind of like it in that situation just because it's so low risk for Holmes because he has zero. It's yeah. like he's not going to die. Oh, nice jab block. Jab block. 60%. But yeah, it's it's so low risk for Holmes because he's of his percent, and the reward is obviously a kill. So right. in those situations, I don't mind it as much. It's mostly just when he's at 120, also that it's it feels like it's not really worth it. Another jab block. Yeah, Holmes having a lot of trouble teching right now. Oh, nice reflector on the uh, splat bomb. Okay, a... you see that's where it's bad. Because <laughs> he you and, see he dies yeah, he for died. it. He did yeah. die for that. Yeah. But if it would have hit, I mean... <laughs> it it would have done nothing. I mean, he's at 44. But it would, it would look cool, I guess. Oh, nice. Wow. I did not know you could do it that fast. That's so smart. Yeah, that's definitely not like a real like combo or anything, but pretty kind of an annoying mix-up. The Inkling Neutral B like, locks you in shield stun, so yeah. it can be kind of annoying to deal with. For sure. Good, uh, good on Holmes going underneath the stage to avoid that bomb. Oh yeah, Holmes looking for that forward air in the back air, but not quite finding it. I'm trying to get a hard read on the roll there as well, but... Okay, back throw, shit's in off stage. We'll see if Shockers... Yeah, Holmes going on. Definitely recovered in a very punishable way there, but Shockers kind of over-respecting him and giving him too much space. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, I wonder if that was supposed to be a side beat. Yeah, I feel like probably that was supposed to be a little flash, because I think that might have comboed. At that percent. All right, Holmes looking for like a a back air probably or an up smash. Yep, <laughs> just definitely looking for a killer. There we go. Finds it. Yep. yep. All right. All right, game one going to Holmes. I'm not making it. You're good, but I'm better. Okay, let me make sure this is actually two quarters. Do you know how the two seed is at this tournament? Um. Is it is it crossplayed? It might be, okay. honestly. It could. Because I, I, I saw Kura and um, Hornet playing. I already. think that's, uh, that's Squad Strike. I oh, think. okay. Yeah. Never mind. It sounds like, why are they playing already? Yeah. But I was like, maybe if Kura's like the four or something. But even then. All right, game two. No character swap, Smashville. Smaller stage for Shockers. I'm not really sure why he wanted Smashville, but... I mean, I can't imagine the platform helps out with any combos, at least that much. That was a motivation, but... Yeah, I'm not sure. I know but... Inkling gets, like, obviously does get platform extensions, yeah. like, off of... You can get, like, two or three up airs instead of one, but... 
I feel like maybe a bigger stage would also be beneficial because it gives you more room to like, you know, because as Inkling, you want to be like dash back a lot and whiff punishing like yeah. uh, the wolf, especially if Holmes is like jumping in with Nair and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and I feel like a smaller stage doesn't necessarily like, it makes it easier for you to get pushed into the corner from using dash back. So. For sure. I, sometimes I wish, especially against more aggressive play, that Shockers would kind of hide. Oh, unfortunate SD Holmes. Yeah. That's. Hate to see that. That's Maybe, tough. That's that's what the counter pick was for. Oh <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Holmes killing himself. Holmes would get pineapple more easily on this stage. <laughs> okay, up smash. Oh, not quite killing. No rage on the uh, wolf. So. Oh. <laughs> He's just like dashing around him. I feel like right now, Shocker should be trying to almost hide behind back air a little bit. Yeah. Um, just trying to tack on some more percent, because straight hit from Wolf is going to kill a 170. But... Yeah, and what Shockers just did right there is like an extremely common habit that a lot of players have that is pretty not great. Uh, they'll get hit off stage, um, and then their first instinct is to like double jump back over the stage and like throw their quote unquote safe aerial out. Because they're like, it's almost like they're like annoyed that they got hit like four times. Yeah. So they're like, come here. But if you're ready for it, it's like super punishable. So. Splat bomb sending what looked to be the wrong way, putting Holmes in the ledge. But... And Shocker's is capitalizing on it pretty well right now. Yeah, he's trying to get the two frame with the down smash. Ooh, and that is not a good trade for, for Shocker's there. Ooh, this could be a. <laughs> good, good getting out of there by uh, Shockers. Uh, a wolf combo at low percent. Can oh no! Oh wait, oh. <laughs> dude, if he if he would have lived, there's I think there's no way, but that would have been crazy. That would have been so sick. I think he was too low, so like even if he did actually like start to recover, I don't think he would have died. The read of the century by Shockers. <laughs> Oh yeah. See, Shocker's double jumping back in with that up air. That's that's the habit I'm talking about. Where yeah. If you're if you're ready for it, it is very punishable. But if the other player is not like paying attention to it, you can kind of get away with it a lot, and it lets you get staged back for free. Yeah. Ooh. Shocker is walking on eggshells right now. Yeah. Dead. Oh god, Holmes is mashing. Is, yeah. I mean. <laughs> yeah. Didn't kill him. Oh didn't my kill. goodness. He can easily make it back as well. Oh, he kept oh, him. He kept him. He's yep. Dead. Yep. Yeah. Got a little greedy. Oh, uh, Holmes. Holmes. You know <laughs> that was so greedy. Man. He had it in the bag. Yeah. I mean, he he definitely had it, but like, it's just it's just the greed getting the better of him. Yeah. Good on Shockers for recognizing that situation. One to one now. Uh, let's see where Holmes goes. For his counter pick. Yeah. Also, uh, Crossblade is the three, and Kerr is the two. Okay. So the winner of this match will play the winner of. It could be. It's either going to be Cold Ramen, Frontal Hornet, or Armpit. Okay. So seed wise, probably Hornet, but. Okay. But I'm looking for an Armpit upset. So. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Uh, the Hornet is first seed, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Awesome. This is just his second week, I'm pretty sure. Maybe third? True. It's his second. Oh, all right. Uh, yes, absolutely. I am playing right now. Uh, see you later. Hey, best of luck. Hey, Crossblade. Would you like to join me? Sure. Okay, okay. It's it's not very hard. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. All right. You have a voice, right? Yeah. I'm you can talk. Okay. I can talk. I think you'll be good then. All right, how's it going? It's going good. good. Uh, you know, I'm excited to play. It's been a while since I played. And, yeah. uh, really interesting Wolf Inkling. I don't know how this match goes. Yeah, so. Have to know. I mean, both of these characters at the beginning of Ultimate were like super high on tier lists. Yeah. They've both kind of fallen a little bit the longer that the game has existed, especially Inkling. Yeah. Um, it's like, oh my. Oh, that was a good conversion. Bruh, he died. <laughs> he, yeah. Oh, what, what percent was that? Like 80 or something like that? I think it was like 70 before the forward air. But... Well, I think Wolf hasn't fallen off, to be honest, you know, in my opinion. True, true. Wolf is still definitely 
considered to be like at least like a high oh, tier yeah, at least character. High tier. A lot of people still think he's top tier. Um, Inkling though definitely has fallen off a decent amount. Like yeah. Inkling's weaknesses are just the like the kind of weaknesses you really don't want to have in a, like a competitive fighting game. Like struggling to kill because that just gets exacerbated in bracket when it, like people start to play more you know defensive, more aware yeah. of your options. So. I feel like this game leans more heavy to like, you know, hit, get hit, you get hit once, you die from it. Yeah, there's definitely, the longer the ultimate has been out as well, like, the combos have been like, more optimized over time, so yeah. people are getting more and more percent off of individual hits. Yeah. So it makes like, super strong neutral tools, like, they just become less, uh, relevant. Yeah. Because like, oh nice, nice down smash oh, no, yeah, on the tech chase. But, yeah, it's like, even if your neutral tours are really good, if you can't get 75% off of one hit, it doesn't matter because... Yeah, because any other character can do that. Yeah, exactly. So, so you got to be able to keep up in both departments. Ooh, that's okay. Well, speaking of combos, oh, speaking of 54. Combos, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh my if that forward air hit, he would have died all oh, back air gets hit, yeah. Yeah. Shocker's getting a little bit greedy there, overextending a little bit off stage, getting punished for it. Nice tech by Holmes there. If he misses another tech, Ooh, he might yeah. die. That double jump that, in, yeah, back on stage. That DI was so bad. Yeah. Oh, no, sorry. That's uh, Holmes' DI there was... Yeah, it, that was... That was the I want to go to loser bracket <laughs> DI. 